Hello, uh, in this short tutorial, I would like to put forward a couple of arguments for why we should be doing open science. My name is Jan Urban. Open science is a movement in science which aims to increase transparency and openness. So why we need open science? Uh, I think that the most important reason for doing open science is current replication crisis that concerns many and perhaps even the majority of scientific disciplines. One of the most convincing demonstrations of the replication crisis has been produced by the Reproducibility Project. In short, uh, Reproducibility Project united a group of 270 psychologists who aim to replicate 100 psychological studies published in top journals in 2008. It turned out that uh, out of the 97 positive results reported in the original 100 studies, they could successfully replicate only 35 effects. In other words, uh, about 65% of the effects reported in the original studies could not be corroborated. Replication crisis does not concern only psychology. Similar replication problems have been found in other disciplines as well. Replic replication problems concern even papers published in top journals such as Nature and Science. So what are the origins of the current replication crisis? There are several interconnected factors contributing to replication crisis. Academic journals put a strong emphasis on novelty, which makes them biased towards publishing positive or statistically significant results. Uh, this problem is known as the publication bias. This situation creates a strong incentive structure for scientists to find such positive results. And there are many ways how scientists can influence the outcomes of their studies. Uh, most often they would do so unconsciously um, by such practices as screening the data, uh, excluding outliers, fine-tuning their models, and so on. Um, this problem is even magnified by lack of transparency in the research, which makes uh, replications uh, very difficult and which decreases uh, accountability of scientists. So how does open science help? Uh, open science creates conditions and sets standards for transparency across the whole uh, life cycle of a research project from, from its planning, execution to analysis and publication. Uh, in this way, it reduces uh, the researcher degrees of freedom and it creates incentives for authors uh, to report any results and for journals to publish all results regardless, regardless of whether these results are significant. And open science also increases uh, accountability of researchers. Um, basically, any researcher, when he starts doing his or her research, should be aware of the fact that this research might be and likely will be replicated in the future. You may think that these problems do not concern your work, but let's be honest. Have you ever refined your models upon seeing your data? Have you ever run models with large number of parameters? Have you ever run statistical tests while doing exploratory analyses? In that case, you run the risk of inflated type 1 error, overfitting, lack of reproducibility, and even p-hacking. The bottom line is that many of the effects that we are reporting are probably not there. Let me give you some examples of open science practices that you can adopt and can improve your work. At planning stage, uh, it might be a good idea to consider pre-registrations. Pre-registrations are time-stamped, frozen descriptions of your project. They usually list your hypotheses, analytical methods, even analytical codes, and so on. So uh, everybody can see what your hypotheses were and what analysis you planned. Uh, you may go even one step further and do pre-registered reports. Pre-registered reports are papers that are accepted in journals before the study is run. And they are accepted before because they propose to test interesting hypotheses and they propose to use very rigorous method. So regardless of the results, these studies are 
uh, accepted in the journals in journals and once you get the results uh, they are automatically published once you conduct the, your research um, it's a good idea to share all materials and procedures uh, that you are using so that anybody can uh, replicate your research uh, later on uh, during the analytical phase, it's actually good practice to share your analytical scripts. You can share any freeware software that you are using. Uh, you can share anything that you have you, you have used to, to collect your data and, and to analyze them. For publication and co communication, one of the good, good practices is to do preprints. Preprints pre are uh, publish manuscripts of, of your paper, they, they can um, increase visibility of your final paper in the journal and they are a great way to communicate your results just after you have uh, written them out. And once you publish your study in the journal, uh, you can link back to the preprints and you can link back to your pre-registration so that readers of your paper in the journal have access to, uh, to all materials that you have used and collected during the, your research. If you are not uh, convinced to do open science yet, um, you can explore some of the materials that are listed here. Um, I suggest you start with the web page of the Center for Open Science, where they list a lot of materials and tutorials uh, about open science. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you want to ask questions or comment on this tutorial, please do so using this link to my OSF profile and I'll do my best to answer. And if you want to get in touch, please send me an email.